In this video, I will show you how to build the bottom navigation bar. And inside this bottom navigation bar, we will use the icon that I show you in the previous video. Let's start this. So the scaffold have the app bar and this we have already learned how to build it. So if it have an argument called it the app bar, it should have an argument called it the bottom bar, something like that. So we will search for one. As I told you, this is a widget. Inside the widget, we have argument. So inside the bracket, the yellow bracket, we have argument and those argument take the widget inside. So what you want. And after this is a comma and after the comma, you can put the other argument. Perfect. This argument will be, we will, we will press control space and this will give us all argument available. Then we will try to find something like the bottom uh, navigation bar or the bottom bar. And as you can see, we have something called it the bottom navigation bar. If we click on the arrow, we have a bottom navigation bar to display at the bottom of the scaffold. If we go there, at the bottom of the scaffold mean this is exactly what we want. So we will use the bottom navigation bar. This is the argument and the argument take a widget inside. So after the two point, we will put a, a widget. And if we take the same logic as the app bar and the app bar widget, we can use the a widget called the same name of the argument with the bottom navigation bar. So this is pretty simple. So we will use this one with the square uh, purple bottom navigation bar with the parentheses. We click on it. And then this will take item. If we leave that like this with null, we will have an error on the screen. And this said items cannot be null. Okay, so let's solve this issue. We will delete null. And then if we go over the item, we can see that flutter one and flutter, we always need to talk to flutter how it can understand us. So in dark language and flutter want a list of bottom navigation bar item. So let's start by creating our list. If you remember how to do that, it is only the square bracket. So when we put a square bracket, Flutter understand that this is a list. Perfect. Then if we go over the item, you want a list of bottom navigation bar item. So let's give him what you want. Bottom navigation bar item but navigation bar item right here. The, this one will give us with the parentheses and this one will, uh, will not give us the parentheses. So we want it, it is easier. So we'll click on it. This will give us the argument icon with null inside. If we go in the app, we can see that we need an icon that is not null. Perfect. Let's solve this issue as well. And now, as you can see, if we press right click and say format document to see the text better, nothing will change or closely nothing. But if we add the comma with all parentheses like that, and now we repress on the uh, right click and format document, so shift alt F, I will use the shift alt F. This will replace the code. Now it is better. So the icon, let's solve this. We will remove the null. If we go over the icon, we can see that the icon want a widget inside. Okay. And which widget can display an icon? Yes, it is the widget that we have learned previously. It is the icon widget. This is why I show you this, this uh, widget. So we will take this one icon with the bracket. And then inside we need to, this, to tell Flutter which icon we want. Like the colors indigo, we will say icons dot, and this will give us, so icons dot, this will give us all icon available. So we will use, I will use again the account circle, but you can use whatever icon you want. And then as you can see, this is something uh, that you have to look uh, sometime if you have two parentheses without the comma, you add the comma and then you right click and say format document. 
So the code is better, right? Like this. Then if I go right here, we have another error again. And this error is saying the item, and I read the, the error with you because I want you to understand how to read error. You will have a lot of white of red screen like that. And you just you just read everything and you will see sometime information that you can uh, understand. So item.land need to be big, uh, bigger or equal to two. So items, the items are right here. And this is a list, a list of bottom navigation bar need to be bigger or equal to two. That's mean we need at least two of them. Okay, let's add another list in the item. Uh, let's add another item in the list, sorry. Like if we have only apples in our list for the shopping, this will not be good. We need two items like pineapple and apple. So let's add another item inside our list. And in the item, we need bottom navigation bar item. So the same thing as this one, we will say bottom navigation bar item. You can copy and paste this one, but I will just rewrite it because you, you better just rewrite and learn like this. Okay. The icon, if you remember, we have a widget for that. So this is the widget icon and you press enter with this one. And then just a little reminder, every time you have a widget, this, the widget is uh, most of the time in green, you have a capital letter. Then inside you have uh, not a capital letter and it is in white. This is the argument and each argument takes something else inside. This something else is a widget sometime and sometimes something else. You just need to put your, your mouse over and you will see what is inside the argument. Okay. So the icon, the icon will take uh, the icon that we want. It is the same as the color. So icons dot, and now we have all icon available. I will use by example, this one with the bell. And then again, we have two parentheses without the comma. We add the comma and then we say uh, we say alt shift F. So it is the uh, alt shift F, the format document. So we format document. Here we go. Okay. So now if we go back, we have the last error that we will see. And this error is telling us if we read. So this is a lot of text for nothing, but right here in the middle, you will see item, the title cannot be null. Okay. So the item, where is the item? So we have the items and inside we have the item. So those two. Okay. So those item cannot have a title null. So that's mean it's inside the item. We should have an argument called it title. So if I go in the next argument, I press control space. I have three argument, active icon, background color, and title. So I will select the title and what the title is take is a widget. Okay. And which widget will convert, uh, which widget can put text on the screen. It is the text widget. So we can use this one text. And then we select this one with the parentheses, click on it. And then the text, if you remember, take a string value. So string, how do we display string? It is, we put this and then we put everything we want inside. So we can say by example, uh, account, because this is the icon. So we have the icon account. So I will say account and then we will need the title of the other one because this will not work. So let's put the title of the other one, another argument called it title. And if it don't display, you can say control space and then you select title. The title will take any widget. So we will use a widget called text to convert something into text. And we would take this one with the parentheses inside. If you remember, it is the bracket like this bracket and inside the bracket, you have the word that you want to write inside the screen. So I will say uh, alert. Here we go. If we go in our application, we have the app bar right here. It is in white and you have the icon. 
For now, you cannot click on it to change the color, but we will do it on the next video. Last thing before we leave is we will change the color of this bottom bar. How are we going to do that? If we go in the, the bottom navigation bar, inside we have argument. So the one that we use is the items. So we display items inside, but we can use another argument and each argument are separated by comma, if you remember. So we will use another one. We will say control space and we will write color just to find which argument are called it color. So we have the unselected item color, select them item color, fixed color or background color. Let's read about the background color, the color of the bottom navigation bar itself. Ha, perfect. We choose this one. This is what we want. This take a color inside. So perfect. Let's write a color, color. And if you remember, if you want to display some color easily, you can just write colors dot and then you will have every color. So we will use once again the indigo, but you can change the color. Be creative. So let's take the app. Now we have something like that. It don't look good because it is a blue uh, selection and a not blue selection, but we will change this on the next video. See you on the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.